In this video, I travel a little bit outside of my comfort zone and go far north in search of an absolutely beautiful creature, the majestic snowy owl. And guess what? You get a front row view to all of the action. So come on, let's go. 20 minutes before sunrise, and I find myself standing on a beach in New York as a splash of color washes ashore and paints the sand fiery shades of orange and red. As the sun makes its way over the horizon and its brilliant radiating colors filter through the plants growing in the soft white sand, something looks slightly out of the ordinary. A very large, round-headed, feather-covered creature sits silently in the swaying blades of grass. This is the snowy owl a breathtakingly beautiful bird of prey who loves to spend its winters along the coastal beaches of the northeastern United States. And as the sun ever so slowly makes its way higher into the sky, our beautiful snowy owl raises its head and basks in the soft warm light. The peaceful sounds of the ocean waves in the distance, combined with the warmth from the sun, soothe this bird into a tranquil state of bliss. And through tightly squinted eyes, it takes one last look at the world around it before peacefully falling asleep in the early morning light. Ah, what a life. Let's leave this snoozing owl to its dreams of plump rodents and snow-covered tundra and head to a different location. Talk about being out of my element. It's really cold. And I'm at this place where hopefully we'll see some short-eared owls. If so, it'd be really cool. But the first flying creature to make an appearance is this beautiful female northern harrier. And as she silently surveys the vast open grassland that has been painted a myriad of brown colors by the icy touch of winter's hand, I spy a tiny ghostly creature gliding by. This is the short-eared owl. Let's get some shots. And this bird loves defending its territory, and it has no problems asserting its dominance over the female northern harrier. The owl flies in with a definite show of force, its talons out and ready to carve the harrier like a Thanksgiving turkey. The harrier goes on the defensive and turns upside down, exposing its talons, and the brave little short-eared owl coasts right by. Let's see if we can get a closer look at these beauties. These birds are simply amazing, and when they come flying right at you like this, it's hard not to fall victim to their mesmerizing gaze. You stand there in awe thinking, what is this little flying creature whose face looks like some type of amazing Halloween jack-o'-lantern and then they turn, giving you a look at their entire round, bullet-shaped little bodies, perfectly accented with random stripes and small splotches of color. And then as they come in lower, you get to see the amazing, intricate details splayed out across this owl's back, a living work of art. And yet somehow in the low light, heavy overcast shooting conditions, these beautiful owls come to life with color and sharply contrast their otherwise dull-colored surroundings. The two appear so different, but at the same time, they completely complement each other. You can instantly feel that this owl belongs here. They're part of the bigger picture, the grand scheme of things. And as they come down into the tall dead grasses and thin sticks that litter the ground, this becomes even more apparent as they dodge every little wisp of vegetation that gets in the way. Silent, super efficient predators from the sky, and as they drop down into the grass on some poor unsuspecting prey, we get a better look at their feather-covered feet and those razor-sharp talons. It's such a joy to stand idly by and watch the wonders of nature unfold right before your eyes. Let's go check in on our sleepy snowy owl. Somewhere out there among the vast stretch of sun-bleached sand is our snowy owl. But this time, we catch it on the move. And as it passes by, it gives us a breathtaking view of the feather patterns across its back. Its magical silent flight is very short-lived, and the beautiful bird silently and graciously takes its place in the high grass on the front side of the dunes. A second snowy flies in a little further back, and it too parks itself right in the tall grass where it can safely blend right in. And thanks to the high-resolution power of the Sony a7R4, combined with the 600mm f4 and the 1.4 teleconverter, that's a little bit of camera nerd speak there for all of you non-camera folks. We get an up close and personal look at this amazing animal without actually getting up close and personal. Modern camera technology is simply amazing and it is only gonna get better. Let's check back in with our short-eared owls. It's really cool. A whole bunch of these short-eared owls, they're absolutely amazing. They've come out 
and they're flying all over the place and they're taking voles and you can hear the voles down in the grass like munching and crunching on stuff it's crazy but they're flying all over the place right along the uh this grass line and the harriers are coming in too it's absolutely amazing and here comes one now and in its talons a clump of grass and a tasty vole this bird doesn't stick around for long Advertising food in a highly competitive area is never a good idea, but there are plenty of other short-eared owls flying around like this one. And while it is a little further away than I would have liked, it is awesome to see this amazing creature with plenty of its natural surroundings for perspective. And in spite of being labeled a short-eared owl, this incredible bird of prey has no problems hearing its dinner somewhere in the dense dead vegetation below. And as soon as it hears something, it quickly adjusts its flight path comes falling out of the sky head first, and just mere milliseconds before impact with its prey, it lowers its feather-covered talons and vanishes among the dead vegetation. The cloud cover, it, the, the sun is almost setting, and the clouds are real thin, but they're blocking the sun, I mean, totally. So we're not getting like really good golden light. There's one that's perched on this tiny little tree over here, but we're not getting really good golden light, but we're still getting really good soft light. And these owls, they look, they, it's weird. It's like they look very lit even in this low light. Maybe it's the contrast of the grass. Either way, it's really amazing. So I'm hoping these clouds go by just in time to get some golden light. But I don't think it's going to happen, but we'll see. And as the clouds part for the briefest of moments, a short-eared owl flies in to land on the tiniest, thinnest tree in the entire field. I don't usually hold the shutter button down for long periods of time, but this time I did, and I captured some amazing moments as this little owl tried to keep its balance on this tiny stick. I'm not even sure how it's possible that this stick that was once some type of living tree or bush can support this owl's weight. And as this little fuzzball gains its balance and its composure, it turns its gaze towards the setting sun, knowing that as the light fades, its ability to catch an unsuspecting vole will greatly increase. Let's head back to the beach and see what our snowy owls are up to. And it looks like our snowies are still sleeping. This one has its own hammock. What a life. But as the sun starts to set on the beach and the dunes transform in a wash of golden light, owl number one sits ready for the coming of nightfall, where it can silently search the beach and the dunes for food in total darkness. Our second snowy owl has positioned herself along a long stretch of wide open sand sprinkled with tufts of grass. And that beautiful golden light giving us our first real good look at this beautiful bird's glowing eyes. Never a dull moment photographing birds, even if it's so cold you lose the feeling in your hands. What an amazing experience filled with even more incredible opportunities with two of nature's most beautiful birds of prey. It was a little too cold for my liking. I had a nice warm scarf and some mittens where the hands came off. Almost looked like the Bernie Sanders mittens, but they obviously weren't. But they had kept my uh, hands warm when I needed them. Um, did you have a favorite part in this video? Uh, I really fell in love with the shorty owls. I went to find the snowies, but I had so much more fun with the short-eared owls. The snowies were neat. They like to just sleep during the day and that's okay. They need their, their space and their peace. But man, those little short-eared owls were absolutely amazing. I'd like to thank everybody who helped me locate all of the birds up there. Uh, big thanks to all of you. Uh, without you, I would not have been able to do that and make this content for everybody else to see. So thanks a lot for helping steering me towards all of these wonderful birds. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. I've got a lot of good stuff coming up. I've been for the past... I don't know, two or three months filming a lot of really intense osprey diving stuff. I'm going to put together a really cool documentary. A lot of the clips I've been posting on my social media accounts on uh, Instagram and Twitter. And almost every single one of them has been stolen and reposted on the internet already. So I, I kind of have to watermark all this stuff. But that tells me that it's good stuff. So when I get to put all that together, all of you will get to enjoy that too. Um, and you get to come along for the ride as usual. Um, don't forget to leave some comments. I always love hearing what everybody says. Hit the thumbs up, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you later.